at what point did Ajax say that we think it's right for Tim to leave the academy? And when did the interest from Manchester United even come in? So me personally, I've never played for the Ajax first team. Okay. So I only was in the, the in academy. The, in the academy. Mm -hmm. But when I was uh, 16, we had an international cup, uh, international tournament with teams from teams from Italy like Juventus, yeah. Liverpool, Arsenal. A lot of a lot of teams were there. And I played uh, I played with Ajax. I played well. Mm -hmm. And since then, um, United came knocking. United and Arsenal they came knocking. Okay. But United came knocking harder and. Uh, the decision was made. Let me, let me stay on that point. <laughs> when, when, you, when you say it came knocking harder, um, what sort of factors do you consider at that point before making a decision on whether United is the best place for you or Ajax is the best place for you? Or Ajax? Yeah, no, or Manchester United. Yes. Either United or Arsenal, sorry. Um, yeah, with United, between United and Arsenal, it was more like United was saying, We've seen you play a lot of times. Mm -hmm. We see your potential. Mm -hmm. We see what you can do. We would like to develop you very good, yeah. and we see a path for you to go to the first team. Mm -hmm. With Arsenal, it was a bit like that, but uh, a bit less. And um, obviously, United man. Was, was the money more? No, no. There was no. There was no. I was not earning no money at that oh, age. Oh, at the develop at the development level, they don't pay you at all. No, no, no. You just. Um, you get money from when you're 18 or something. I was 16, so okay. I was not earning no money. Now, did your family play a big part in that decision-making process? How, how much do you involve your family in making such decisions? I involve, uh, I involve them a lot, my dad and my brother. But at the end, I'm a man of myself, even at such a young age. Mm -hmm. So at the end, it was my decision to, to go to United. Mm. Yeah.